As Como Park Zoo and Conservatory prepares for Polar Bear Odyssey, the new polar bear habitat, the current residents, Neil and Buzz, have to go on to a two-year vacation. We recently caught up with Allison Youngheim, senior zookeeper, and she told us a little history about Buzz and Neil. Well, Neil and Buzz came here to us from, from San Diego in 2001, and this was their first experience with snow and with cold Minnesota weather and everything like that. Um, they've had a really wonderful life here, and we're hoping that when we get them back, they'll enjoy the new exhibit even more. Uh, they are their 12-year-old twin brothers, and they are just amazing, but they are totally two different personalities. Um, what we're hoping to be able to do with the new Polar Bear Odyssey exhibit, we've designed it so that it's cub friendly and we hope to be able to get a breeding pair of polar bears in in the future so that we can have cubs in the future here at Como. We talked to Sarah Corteau, a zookeeper at Como, who told us a little bit about Polar Bear Odyssey, the new habitat, which will be opening in the spring of 2010. The new exhibit is um, going to incorporate a lot of the things that we've learned over the last 25 years since building this current exhibit. Um, one of the things that we're really excited about is that there's going to be natural substrate in the exhibit. So we'll have um, dirt, we'll have dig pits for them. There will be natural salt water where we can put live fish so they can swim around and um, hunt whenever they want to. We will also have a number of different training areas. Right now, most of the training that we do is behind the scenes that the keepers do with the polar bears. And we've incorporated several different ways to bring that up front so that all the visitors can see all the really cool things that these guys do on a daily basis. In town for the celebration of the polar bears going away, Robert Buchanan, president of Polar Bears International, told us a little bit about his organization as well as polar bears. Uh, polar Bears International is a organization that focuses in on conservation through research and education. Uh, we really work with the top polar bear scientists in the field uh, and help make sure that they have the funds possible to do their research and well as uh, great organizations uh, in the zoological world like the Como Zoo and make sure that they have the educational tools that they need in order to teach the world about polar bears in the far north. I think that uh, Como Zoo is providing leadership in this world on the importance of, of, of showing polar bears in the right exhibit. It has uh, all the elements to make it a world-class and great exhibit. The people of, uh, of Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Minnesota should be very, very proud of this leadership. It not only provides enrichment and, and well-being for the bears, uh, but it also provides an ability to educate people about about the importance of the North. Now, they are actually Arctic ambassador centers that will be able to teach our kids about what the North is about and the importance of the wildlife that's there and as well as the planet. What can visitors expect from Polar Bear Odyssey? Well, this is an immersive exhibit. So this is meant to make you feel like you are up in the Arctic with the polar bears. You're going to see a lot of different interpretive um, signage that will give you, educate you about the bears and give you a lot of information about the bears, as well as giving you an up close and personal view of the bears like Como always tries to do. Como already has a great animal enrichment and training program at the zoo with many of its animals. So what are some of the training features the new facility will have? From the guest perspective, it will be different. We as trainers will be doing all, all the same stuff that we've been doing for years, but now the guests will be able to see that. One of the main features in our new outpost building, which is kind of the center of the two exhibits, will have a window into um, the behind the scenes area where the polar bears stay and they'll be able to see training demonstrations where a keeper will be behind glass um, with a polar bear doing all the different training that we do on a regular basis. And as we work on new behaviors, they'll be able to see those new behaviors progress. We asked Robert why polar bears are so important. Uh, polar bears are important to the world because they're a sentinel species. They are really the canary in the mine shaft on what's happening on this incredible planet that we live in. What is happening right now is that we're losing ice. Now, why is that important, okay? It's important because without ice, polar bears do not have the ability to be able to hunt, to breed, or to be able to den in most cases. So without ice, we do not have polar bears. The question becomes from there, what happens once we leave, lose this species that's at the top of the food chain? You know, is man, is man in trouble from that point? 
If you would like more information about Polar Bears International or just on polar bears, visit their website, www.polarbearsinternational.org. Como Park Zoo and Conservatory will work hard to get all the information about the new polar bear habitat to you through our website, www.comozooconservatory.org, where you will even be able to see a construction cam of all the new things happening out at Como. I really think that it's important that the people of uh, Minneapolis and St. Paul understand how proud that they should be about the leadership that Como Zoo is taking here. It's incredible the fact that the community still has a zoo that allows people in for free. The fact that they are so supportive of what you guys are doing here. The fact that they're allowing their precious treasure to be shipped off for two years and still uh, uh, so that they can come back to a, no, a new home is something that they should be extremely proud of. So from all of us at Polar Bears International, we say thank you to Minneapolis-St. Paul.